Time now for a breakdown of the tropics here on our Friday night. This thing has a medium chance of development over the next seven days. However, there's nothing really organized yet. Therefore, it has no chance of development in the next two days. However, we're starting to see the ball rolling ever so slightly on some thunderstorms that are developing here in the Southern Caribbean. Let's go big picture and talk about what's happening here. So I want to break down the pattern just a bit. We do have a ridge of high pressure that is over Texas right now. That's going to be a player in our weather pattern. And then we have this. This is a very, very deep trough which has dipped down into the Caribbean. What this is going to do is lower pressures in the Caribbean and eventually we will see more thunderstorms that develop. This will be what's called the Central American Gyre, what spawns our low pressure system that starts to move north. So it's already starting to happen right now. However, we are in the extraordinarily early stages. Let's look at the upper level pattern in the big picture. There's that ridge of high pressure blocking high pressure. That means sunny, warm, quiet weather for us locally over the next few days. In fact, here's Monday ridge of high pressure right over us. It's going to be a little bit hot by then. Then the GFS forecast model decides to push this ridge of high pressure off to the east. What that does is opens a door for this possible developing system to drift north. However, there's been some disagreement. In fact, a lot of disagreement on what this pattern might look like. This is Wednesday PM on the GFS forecast models. Other models have a slightly different picture. We understand that there's going to be a ridge of high pressure. There's going to be some kind of trough. A trough would pick this thing up and then there's going to be that potentially developing system down there in the Western Caribbean or the Gulf of Mexico. Those are some players that are on the field, but right now the fact that we don't have a center of circulation on the system, it's like playing a game like a sports game. It's Friday night, so let's talk about a sports analogy but we don't have a ball on the field right now. So there's nothing that we can latch on to to actually extrapolate out. So that's why we're saying wait right now. That is going to be the main story. Slow development possible into next week. Once we start to get development, we'll be able to get a better idea where this thing goes. Again, the future track and intensity is extraordinarily uncertain because we don't have a center of circulation yet. That is one of the that's the main reason why at this point. So everybody along the Gulf Coast needs to watch the tropics. We'll have plenty of updates this weekend and into next week as well. Hey, I mentioned that ridge of high pressure. It's a little hot today. 93 degrees in Mobile, and that's the deal for tomorrow. It's going to be hot once again with temperatures in the lower 90s. I have 91 in Mobile, 94 in Pascagoula. Forecast highs over the next few days with that ridge of high pressure in place stays slightly above average. This is, of course, as we're getting into fall. Yes, Sunday is the first day of fall. 91 degrees summer like temperatures with mainly sunny skies. Forecast planner for our Saturday the day before first day of fall. You can see temperatures getting into the 90 here. Uh, here's the planner for Mo or Pensacola, I should say. You can see upper 80s for them under a mainly sunny sky. It's going to be a relatively quiet forecast. Here's the extended outlook for you. And once again, fall. There we go. Mostly sunny conditions. And then the forecast beyond this point, maybe a couple showers around. Slightly uncertain in that forecast, but we'll keep you updated. We'll be keeping an eye on the tropics, of course, next week.